the obvious question, Rory Lobb, what are his chances for this weekend? Uh, I'll tell you after training. Oh, he'll need to do a little bit of training to convince us. Uh, and then the decision really comes down to um, yeah, whether it's worth the risk, I suppose. Um, he's not going to be 100%. He hasn't been 100% um, for a while now. But, um, yeah, we'll weigh, the, we'll weigh that up. Well, like I said, and been saying all week, it's the most important game of the year this, this, year, uh, this week. So, um, but we can't put... Um, the long-term health of our players at risk, so we'll just weigh that up. What did you take out of the derby with only playing one recognised forward, in, the tall forward in Bob and Griff? Do you have to consider taking Tracy as well, or, or Jai Angus perhaps? Well, um, JT hasn't been playing, so um, that's not really an option at the moment. And um, Jai's had one game back from 12 weeks out, so it'd be unfair on him at this early stage of his comeback. So um, we've got other options. Uh, you know, I think the wet conditions played into us bombing the ball in a little bit too much on the weekend. And um, having said that, we're still able to generate a, a, enough shots on goal. Um, you know, if we had a finished, we might not finished a little bit better in front of goal, we might not be talking about this. So um, yeah, it's, it all goes into the, the mix. Um, and we need to make sure we, yeah, we, we pick a balanced side that allows us to um, either mark the ball inside 50 or give us a contest at least inside 50. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that at selection. There's a few options there. I guess the natural follow-on to that is Nat and whether he'll play this week or for Peel. And if he plays, will he play as a forward? Uh, he's, got to, he's got to get through training. But if he puts his hand up for selection um, after training and gets through and docks, give him the all clear, he'll, he'll play AFL. Um, then he'll play a similar role to what he was um, playing when he when he went out of the side, so um, yeah, he'll he'll give us an option down forward, but it won't be um, his only his only role. What's the specific issue you'd like to dealing with at the moment? Ah, oh, not really going to go into specifics. He's he's a little bit banged up in a couple of different areas. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, we rolled him out against Western Bulldogs, and we're able to move the ball a little bit better and. He looked fine, and on the weekend it was a bit more of a contested game, and he struggled a little bit. So, um, yeah, he's got a few issues. A lot of our players are a little bit sore. It's the nature of the beast. What do you expect from GWS? You're playing for a top four spot potentially, and they're not really playing for, for much, but you know, pride. Um, yeah, I expect a little bit of unpredictability with the way that, that they play. Um, yeah, expecting them to be really strong in the contest. So, I mean, you look at the names through the middle of the ground, it's, it's pretty impressive. And, um, yeah, we wouldn't want to be taking them lightly. So, um, you know, we'll prepare for their best. Uh, they had a good win against Essendon a couple of weeks ago where they were pretty dominant. And then um, they pushed the Bulldogs all the way to the line last week at, at Marvel. So, yeah, we're not, we're not going to take them lightly. Um, you know, people outside of footy think that you know they haven't got anything to play for. I think they've got plenty to play for. We've been in that situation and, and felt the same. So um, yeah, we've re just reviewed their strengths and what they bring to the table, and yeah, we'll need to be on our game to beat them. Have you run through the scenarios to what gets you top four? Oh, I have, but keep bringing myself back to this week being the most important week because. Realistically, none of those scenarios play out if we don't get the job done. So we spoke about that earlier in the week. Um, this time of the year has a habit of pulling you away from what's important. And um, yeah, we made, made, made sure at the start of the week we focused in on Saturday because that's what we can control and that's the most important thing for us. It's probably going to be a nervous weekend um, after your game, just waiting for those results to play out. Like, do, you, do you watch the Sunday games and the team? Or? Oh, we haven't even got there, Eliza. Like it's, we're, we're focusing on Saturday, and um, we need to tick Saturday off first. So, yeah, it's not just one week at a time; it's one day at a time. Saturday is the day. Is there any other players that are in doubt apart from Rory at this stage? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. So you go into the final round with almost a, a pretty strong bill of health, and then you have to buy finals. How much of a benefit is that going to be for players like Rory and Tabs if you try and get a squad to get the finals? Yeah, I think it's benefit for all our players really. Take a deep breath out, 
um, yeah, re- refresh their minds and bodies um, and then really hone in on, you know, the importance of what's ahead of us. So, um, yeah, to be honest, though, I haven't really got there yet. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, everyone externally and probably upstairs at the footy club is really focused on finals and what that means and, yeah, pats on the back and all that stuff. But, yeah, I haven't really thought about next week and the week after yet. Um, really just mindsets on um, improving our footy from last week and, um, yeah, tr- continuing to build back to our best form. Do you expect AWS to tag Andrew and so have you prepared for that? Uh, yeah, well, we're early in our prep. Oh, yeah, we expect that. Um, Perriman's been doing a few jobs on different different players, so we expect yeah them to go to Andy. I thought Andy was really impressive with the way that he handled the tag on the weekend and the physicality Nelson brought to him. I thought we looked after him as a team, and I thought Andy did his best job to um, bring others into the game and sacrifice um, for the betterment of the team. So... Um, now he's had a fair bit of practice at dealing with this this year. He's been in really good form, and um, he's probably had to deal with it six or seven times now. So yeah, he's becoming accustomed to it, and we'll continue to help him out the best we can. What do you make of Caleb Sarong's ability to act when Andy was getting tagged? <laughs> yeah, like twins, like brothers from another mother. They look after each other well. Best good mates off the field. Um, really strong leaders at our club, and uh, really embody the behaviours we want to see. So. Um, yeah, I was, I'm not only wrapped with Caleb's ability to look after his teammates and get around his teammates, because he's been doing that all year, but I think the last couple of weeks we've seen some of his better form return and he's really leading the way with um, his ferociousness at the contest and at the, at the man early on, which is setting us up. So, yeah, he's doing a good job. Sam Srikowski pulled up after such a long time out. Really pleasing, to be honest. Yeah, he's, uh, um, yeah, he's a little bit sore in all areas of his body after the after the game on the weekend, but um, his back specifically was pulled up really well. So um, he'll do a bit of training today and yeah, he'll get another game under his belt this week. And Sean Darcy, is the performance on the weekend same sort of heading for this one getting into finals with a bit of swagger? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good for him because he's getting a bit of reward for effort now and uh, it's there's probably been a, a month in the making, to be honest. I feel like he's, he's been on the cusp of putting one of those performances out there. He's uh, been uh, going for his marks a lot more. They probably just haven't been sticking as much as he'd like. And I think we re- saw that return on the weekend. And um, yeah, his ruck work's been really strong for a while now. And uh, that's given our midfielders first look and allow, allow, allowed our mids to be proactive. So. Yeah, it's good to see him get some reward for effort on the weekend. Every game forward now is obviously a great result, but is it a bit bittersweet knowing that it's just time ticking to see Monday leave? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, oh, like I said in my uh, post-match um, talk to the players, it feel on the weekend felt a little bit premature because um, feel like we've got a lot of lot ahead of us still, and um, yeah, we haven't we haven't seen him off yet, so. Um, yeah, it's we cherishing all the moments that we, we get to have Dave around and his teammates are really um, yeah, putting their arms around him and trying to put maximal effort out for him. This time last year you went into that final game against St Kilda with a potential final spot in the line. Now there's top four ramifications. How do you feel like the group sort of developed um, in handling the expectation in that year? Yeah, I think we probably went through a a phase after the buyer where we probably didn't handle it as well as we could have. We got a little bit safe and maybe internalised a little bit and um, projected ahead. But we, I think the last couple of weeks we've been able to really focus week to week and um, players have really been able to get back to what's important in their role and contest and um, find their better form. Um, that'll hold us in good stead. Uh, I mean, I think our, our uh, travel record has really improved this year, so there should be no... Um, yeah, burden with that, having to travel. And um, yeah, I think we've matured a lot over the course of the last three years, but in particular the last you know, couple of months, so or last month. So um, I think we're, yeah, holds us in good stead.